So I wanted to see how long it takes for a gallon of water to freeze. It's five o'clock right now. It's 27 degrees here in uh, Nacogdoches. So I'm gonna put it out here and we'll come back and check every once in a while and see what happens. So how long will it take for this gallon of water to freeze over? And it's supposed to get down to really low tonight. So let's see. All right, it's 9.30 and it's still, but I can feel a little bit there. It's still definitely fluid right now at 9.30. Snowing or something right now. Well, it's definitely still got fluid in it. So this is 10.30 right now. It's 23 degrees. It's about uh, a little bit past 11.30. Ah, it's still got water in it, but it's definitely got some ice in there. Okay, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's ice. No, it's still got some water in it. So, yeah. So it's almost all the way ice through. And there's still a little bit of water left in it. So, and someone total said that, you know, snow is the insulator. So there it goes. All right, so it's 2.30. Still a little bit of water on it. So it's 20 degrees out right now. I'm gonna put another one out here. And it's 2.30 in the morning, so let's see how long it takes for that one to freeze. So it's four o'clock in the morning. And there's still a little bit of water, not a lot. I'd say that's basically frozen. And this one here is still pretty much liquid. But yeah, you can see how much snow has actually come up and whatnot. And there's some snow in the cup there. Look at that snow. Wow, computed. Okay, it's 5.30 in the morning. All right, so that one there is almost frozen. And I'm gonna guess, basically that one's frozen. The one little part there. So yeah. And that cup is full of snow. And we got snow <laughs> everywhere. Two from 2.30 to 5.30 for the second one to basically freeze and then the other one's basically frozen from 5.30 to 5.30 in the morning so yeah 12 hours compete that y'all oh yeah it's 15 degrees outside at 5.30 in the morning wow